able to share with you our headline display here at the Fashion Museum in Bath. It's called A History of Fashion in a Hundred Objects. The way that it works is that we've chosen a hundred, I suppose, headline, showstoppers, top pieces which illustrate the history of fashion from the point really at which fashion survives, and that tends to be the beginning of the 18th century, right up to the present day. We're very fortunate here at the Fashion Museum because we have pieces from the 17th century right up to the 21st century. So our gallery display starts with some beautifully embroidered gloves from the 17th century. And we go right up to date with our current selection for the year in fashion. We're like the Oscars, we work one year behind. So our current dress of the year is 2020, a selection of seven pieces that showcase the year in fashion. But in between, there are pieces from the 18th century, the heyday of Georgian bath, glorious, beautiful, heavily woven silks in saffron yellows. We go through then to the time of Jane Austen, the early part of the 19th century, and suddenly the silhouette changes dramatically. So you go from a very large, broad silhouette to a slender column-like shape um, in the wonder fabric, the new fabric of the time, which was cotton, Many of the dresses here in the collection are of cotton muslin, and muslin is a particularly lightweight version of white cotton. We go forward then to the beginning of the designer age, and here at the Fashion Museum we are, we are blessed um, in that we have a number of pieces by the world's greatest fashion designers. So there's a piece from Worth from the late uh, 19th century. We go on then to the flapper period and dresses by another Paris couture house, the House of Worth Pacan. We go through, we look at all of the, the war years and the sense of austerity um, where fashion was really looking to reinvent itself because there was such um, a lack of resource in both materials and in, uh, and in manpower or manpower to actually create fashion. We go through on then to the 1960s and the 1970s and bright coloured uh, work by, or bright coloured fashions by the world's, again, great names in fashion. Jean Muir, a yellow dress by Jean Muir from the 1970s. Understated, but beautifully, beautifully executed um, and absolutely the fashion look of the day. And, we, and then we, we continue right up to date with a selection of our more recent Dress of the Years. And Dress of the Year is the way that the Fashion Museum updates the contemporary collection. And one of our real showstoppers is a piece from 2011 by, um, by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen. Um, it's almost like a farthingale. We're really pleased that actually object number one in a history of fashion in a hundred objects is a man's shirt. A man's shirt, a linen shirt, great big long, long shirt, um, beautifully embroidered in a style of embroidery called blackwork embroidery um, around the, the neck and the cuffs in, in designs of flowers and bees. And that really, it's, although it's underwear, um, and, and it would have been seen because those panels of embroidery would have been pulled through a doublet, which was the slashed garment that men were wearing right at the end of the 16th century and into the beginning of the 17th century. And menswear, menswear is absolutely fascinating because you have these different types of garments that punctuate the history of menswear. And I think one of the biggest, I guess, changes in menswear was right at the beginning of the 19th century, the transition from breeches, and breeches are just kind of come down to the knee, to this amazing newfangled garment, the trousers, which went all the way down the leg. Um, and I guess those really, trousers really were fashionable or, or became part of mainstream fashion from about the 1820s. And essentially they've never looked back. And then there's a whole other story about women in trousers, um, which is so, so fascinating, um, which, which runs through the 20th century as well. But yes, menswear, absolutely part 
of what we are presenting here in a history of fashion in 100 objects at the Fashion Museum in Bath. We hope that in our selection of a history of fashion in 100 objects that we have presented for all to share some of the most glorious pieces that make you really think and question and investigate the history of fashion because fashion after all mirror is a mirror of society fashion holds a mirror up and reflects back at us who we are and that's what we are hoping to do in a history of fashion in a hundred objects here at the fashion museum in bath <laughs>